I'm so excited to be here. I finished with work. It's a little bit after 3.30. I finished with work early for the day and Matt is off today. So we thought it would be fun to go to Universal for the rest of the day or the rest of the evening. Islands of Adventure closes at seven and then the other park, um, Universal is open until nine. Uh, so I think we have enough time to do things and there's a lot of things. Oh, I better hold on so I don't fall down the escalator. <laughs> But um, I'm just really excited to be here. It's a, like it feels amazing today because it's been raining all day and it's very cloudy. So it's probably what in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the 80s. In the 80s. It's almost cold. Yeah. So I think today's a perfect day. There probably won't be very many people here because it's been rainy. Plus it's the off season right now, and it is a Tuesday. Yeah. Well, it's all yeah. Completely, <laughs> completely empty. empty. So this should be a lot of fun. So cool in here. Remember what we said last time, or what I said last time, you have to watch your head. Every time I walk in, I think of that yep. bird that's, poop that's splatter on my head. But I want to go into the Christmas shop. Uh, I don't think so. Last time we were here, but we don't need to go right now. You don't want to? Not right now. Okay. I want to continue going somewhere else. I don't know, but did you show them that you got your coffee? Of course, without fail, the first stop is always Starbucks. It's like the thing you do when you go to Disney or Universal, you stop in a Starbucks. Right. But what are we going to ride first, babe? Eh? No idea. I don't know either. I'm not really in like a roller coaster mood, which probably isn't the smartest to come here. But I might be brave. I'm actually not scared of them. I just, I don't know. I have to be in the mood. We're riding the cat in the hat. Which I've only been on once, I, I think, we came here many, February. many years ago. You know, but there's no here. one here. Here. I don't know if I've ever been. I have, but it was when I was young. Here we go. We looked and we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. Me, I'm the cat. For the cup and the cake on the top of my hat. That was cute, the cat in the hat. What made it even better was that we didn't have to wait in line at all. We just walked right in, nice and cool in the air conditioning. And now, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. I don't know either. Let's go ride something scary. Scary? Like, like, uh, oh, cute. like King Kong? I don't know about that. That's really scary. We made it to Hogsmeade in the snow. I feel very cold though. No. For Britain journey. You gotta get a locker. Gotta get a locker. A little uh, overwhelming in the bag area. If you don't like massive crowds of people, then I don't know what to say. Because <laughs> that was like, especially when you're short. It was bad and for me. Everyone is way armpit height. And that's all you can smell. That's lovely. And it's this close, and people are pushing you, telling you to move, and I'm like, I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> yeah. There's like enough space in there for like six people, and there's probably 60 trying to get get in and get out and get bags, and oh, it's fun. Part of the experience, right? Gives me a break for a little while carrying that bag. That's true. That's a positive. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Our school was founded over a thousand years ago. <laughs> Somebody had a dream about a dinosaur last night. I did. I had a dream that. Hold on, I'll tell you when I get my camera fixed. So I had a dream about a dinosaur last night, and it looked just like that one. And we didn't know we were coming here. This was kind of like a last minute thing. Like I said, I finished work early today, and so we came here. But the, the dinosaur in my dream last night was exactly like that, and it was quite terrifying. You want here? If you know, I'm kind of scared of dinosaurs. <laughs> and I don't really like the dinosaur rides or anything. And it was like 
the dinosaur was trying to break into our house or something. I don't really know, but. And that one looks just like it. It was very scary. Oh, sunglasses. Ooh, I like these. I want some shape like this. I need a new shape like, like that. I wonder what the dream, the meaning is if you dream about dinosaurs. Because you know how like different dreams have different meanings? I wonder what that meaning is. No idea. I'm going to Google it. I love doing that. Uh. <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> it's not a good omen for you, is it? No, it's very scary. They're very real, like, real, real, realistic, huh? I'm gonna take a picture. Oh, there's a dinosaur catcher. He's looking for them. <gasps> Y'all wanna see me have a heart attack? Um, I don't know if you wanna do that. I don't think I can handle it. I've, I've watched videos of it on YouTube. Really? <laughs> I don't yeah. know if I've ever seen that. It's like he gets right in your face, like right here. I don't think so. Because he, le he leans his head down out of the thing. Really? And raptors are like the scariest Yeah, one. they're the meanest ones. I'm a big scaredy cat, and I know it. And you know what? I'm not ashamed. Because at least I'm... I said I'm a, I'm a big scaredy cat, and I know that. But I'm not ashamed of it, you know? I just embrace it. Yeah, you do embrace it. <laughs> you have yet to open your eyes on the Harry Potter ride. Hey, shh. <laughs> I opened my eyes. For like two seconds. <laughs> I don't think you have. We watched it, but we chickened out last time. For the first well, I just time don't we want to get really wet. Yeah. You can. And dinosaurs. And we only have one poncho. We need to buy another so one. So we'd have to. Alright, let's find something else to do now. Oh, here comes another one. Woo! Yeah. If we were really hot, we could cool off by doing that. Probably could. I want to go to, I kind of want to do the King Kong. The what? I know that it seems the King, the Skull Island. The Skull the Island, one. really? Well, here it is. I know. I'm trying to think if I have enough courage. I watched it on YouTube. <laughs> well, see, you know more than I do. I haven't even seen it. I know. You're more prepared. So maybe we I don't know why I'm such a big chicken. I need to get over it. So you're in a, a you're in this, yeah. So if I were in the middle, I would be okay. On the outside edges, I'm just not too sure about. Cause then you go into that. Look at the doors opening. Oh my god. Cool. It looks really cool though. I think I want to do it. We might come out a lot. We might. I don't know. What if we don't? <laughs> It's only a 15 minute wait. All right. Not gonna be a chicken. I'm not being a chicken. I'm a little bit afraid. So we weren't allowed to film or take photos while we were on the ride, but I don't know, it wasn't even scary. Like, it was just screens, which I knew, um, but I feel like the queue and the build-up was scarier than the actual ride itself. And I don't know, kind of a letdown, in my opinion. Although the animatronic at the end is really, really, really high tech and huge and cool. But I, I wish that they would have done that more throughout the ride, like the Forbidden Journey. Because that's what makes that one so much fun, is that it goes back and forth between actual animatronics and effects and screens. And this one is just all screens, so it just kind of is, it was a letdown for me. But, I don't know, it was still, it was still pretty cool. It's okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, what did you think? It was alright. wasn't, yeah, like the line was scarier than the actual thing. Yeah, because they had a scare actor that like jumped out while you were in line. But, I don't know. I would do it again, just to do it. Because he was kind of cute. King Kong. Yeah. We're taking a snack break. Of course. I haven't had, well, I think I have had this flavor. I just yeah. forget. This is I, my favorite one. Yeah. That one's good too. Yeah, it's really good. We're in the Christmas store. Oh, look. It smells like cinnamon in here. It smells so good. Oh, that's cute. I remember those. Oh, I had this too. Did you have one of these? Yeah. We have Candyland. Oh, I had that too. That's cute. I have one of these too. You did? Yeah. Oh, I had that at my daycare. <laughs> I love socks. I love wearing silly socks, don't I? I always wear like, Disney socks. Oh, I feel like I'm wearing an appropriate shirt to go to the Hard Rock. I have on Red yes. Hot Chili Peppers t shirt sure today that I actually got from Target. I am a fan of that band. I'm not just wearing it, being one of those people. I've never seen them live, and they came to Orlando. When was it? Over the spring, I think. Did they? Oh, I yeah. walked into Publix. I had this shirt on, and the girl at Publix was like, oh, are you going to the show tonight? And I was like, there's a show tonight? And I'm like, well, unfortunately, no, because I'm going out of town today. So I had no idea. I'm not a true fan. I need to be like a groupie and just follow them around. <laughs> People do that. You kind of did that a little bit with Dave Matthews growing, or growing up. For a little while, yeah. Yeah, when I was, when we For first years. dated, a little bit before we, Started dating, right? Oh, we or maybe dating. it was during that time, yeah. I went to every show anywhere close to me. No matter if we had already seen the show or not. Well, because it was always a different show. But we went all the time. They have uh, the decorations for the scare nights, the horror nights, the things that I would not go to, you couldn't pay me to go to. I would fight someone if they tried to scare me. Yeah. I'm not very nice when I get scared. No, you're not. You're a little feisty. Well, I don't like scary things. Just, it's just not worth it to me. But I understand some people like really appreciate it, and I can understand that. But just not, it's not for me. I don't like to be surprised. Surprise elements have never been something that I enjoy. I like to know what's going to happen prior to it happening so that I can prepare myself which is why I don't do well in those types of situations. Many of those situations. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Race Through New York, starring Jimmy Fallon. Never done it before. Look how cool it looks in here. I love Jimmy Fallon. He's, I think he's so cute. This is so cool. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's get our glasses. Thank you for the new app Giant. Ew. <laughs> that was the most fun ride. I want to do it again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All that did was made me want to go to New York that much more. Yeah, I know. All day yesterday I was talking about how bad I wanted to go to New York City. My sister lives here, but they're about to move to Bali. If you've watched our vlogs, you probably heard me say that. But um, all that did was make me want to go even more to go and see them before they leave. But I don't think we can because they're going to Africa first for like what three, three and a half weeks, like and I think yeah, they leave know. soon. So I don't think we'll be able to. But oh, it made me want to go so bad and visit. That's where we are now. Of course. Matt is on the move to get a beer. That's cute. I'm running into everyone. It's very crowded. What a shame that you're like this in our apartment. Ah, uh, that we would have maybe. Go ahead. I think maybe we'd have like just the bed. We, as long as we laid flat and didn't get up, we would be fine. How pretty they are now. I know. We wanted to say, and we wanted to do it again. I was going to say we wanted to and we decided. And I, just said, I said something very really like one to say. We wanted to, do it we again, wanted and we to decide to do it again, which doesn't really make sense. We're riding Jimmy Fallon's ride again, 
and they have all of this old stuff from each um, host of the Tonight Show. So they have Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien, from every single, and look, look at um, Johnny Carson. They have his old suit, and the Emmy Award, so cool, and the headdress. I love this. It's a really cool area. In Jimmy Fallon's yearbook, it says future predictions. He graduated in 87. And it says that will replace David Letterman on The Tonight Show. And he actually did that. That's kind of incredible. I don't know if it's going to focus, but that is so cool. Or no, what did I say? Oh, David Letterman. But he is replaced. Yeah, still. That is so cool. Lights to turn orange. There you are. Yeah, so we can wait up here. Yeah. It's cool. Tired. We are tired. It's late. It's late. Yeah, it's been a long day, but we rode a lot of rides, though. Oh yeah, we. I guess we should say we did end up riding. Uh, we rode six rides, right? Yeah, six. Well, four rides, but we rode two of the rides twice. Oh yeah, that's right. We did um, the Jimmy Fallon ride twice, which is my favorite ride, hands down. Well, actually, no. I like the. Um, what is the one Harry Potter? Not Forbidden Journey. Green Guts. Escape from Green Escape Guts. from Green Guts. Yeah, that's my favorite. We did that twice. The we we rode it and then we got right back on it again because I wanted to sit in the front, and that's my favorite ride. It's such a cool ride. Um, but yeah, that's all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us today. If you liked it, then give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.